Hello, hello, hello! I am so excited to be here with you, Go Natural English learners. I'm Gabby, your English teacher here at Go Natural English. Now, I want to do a tech check to make sure that you can hear me and see me before I say any more, before I start talking about today's lesson, which is two very important things that you need to do more of in order to improve your fluency in English. Hello, Ismael. How are you? Thank you for your comments. Can you hear me? Please type yes, Y-E-S, in the comments if you can hear me. Hi, Musa. Nice to see you. I just want to check if my mic is working and if you can hear me okay before we continue. So please tell me in the comments, yes, if you can hear me. Hey, Luis. Hey, Ismael. Thank you so much for your comments. Musa, thank you. You are the first person to say yes. Mohammed, you're the second person to say yes. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that you can hear me. Luis, thank you. Okay, wonderful. So we can continue. So I hope that you like my background today. I am in New York City and I wanted to show you all the beautiful tall buildings in this big amazing city, New York City. So today in our lesson, I'm going to talk about how to become fluent in English and two things that you need to do more of. I know you're not doing them enough, so I want to encourage you and tell you about what you should be doing more of. Now, I told you I am speaking to you from New York City. Where are you watching from? I see some familiar names and familiar faces, but please tell me in the comments where are you watching from? Ismail, thank you. I'm so happy you like the beautiful background. I like it very much too. I love New York City, so I want to share it with you. So tell me where you're watching from. I'll read in the comments. And in today's Facebook Live, I'm going to talk about two things that you need to do more of to improve your fluency. I'm going to tell you that it is the last chance to get the English Power Pack. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the English Power Pack. And I'll take your questions. So we're going to do all of this in just about 10 or 15 minutes because I know that you're busy and I want to keep it short and sweet. I see some people watching from Turkey, from Saudi Arabia, from Brazil, Indonesia. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see all of you from all different countries. Algeria, amazing. Oh, we have such a wonderful world of Go Natural English learners. Thank you so much for being here. So the number one question that I get from my Go Natural English community is, how do I become fluent in English? It's a very good question. It's the most common question. So if I'm going to answer this question quickly, in one word, I would say practice. Practice is something that we don't do enough. I think that many of us, myself included, when we learn a new language, we learn a new word one time. We see the new word and we expect ourselves to know that word. But that's not how it works. We have to practice and review a new word or a new phrase at least 20 times before we can remember that word. So many of you have asked me, how can I remember vocabulary? How can I stop hesitating? How can I remember the words that I want to use in conversation? Well, we have to practice more. And the most important thing here is you have to be patient with yourself. We have these high expectations that you're going to remember a new word and how to use it after one time, but you need 20 times, maybe even 30 times, you need to see a word or a phrase before you remember it and before you are ready to use it. So one thing that you need to do more is to be more 
patient with yourself. That means to forgive yourself if you forget a word, but don't stop trying, don't stop practicing, don't stop studying. Be patient with yourself. Allow yourself time to see new phrases 20, 30, 40 times. It's okay. The most important thing is you don't stop. Yes, Luis, I like your comment. Practice makes perfect. So lots of practice. And to practice a lot, we have to be patient with ourselves. So when you practice and you feel like it's taking a long time to improve your fluency, just breathe and be a little more patient with yourself. I love you guys. I think you're doing a great job. If you're watching this right now, it means that you're serious about improving your English fluency. You know the difference that it can make in your life. We just need to be a little bit more patient with ourselves. What does patient mean? If patient is a new word, it means that you're calm, that you're loving to yourself, that you forgive yourself if you take a long time. The second thing that you need to do more of, and this might come as a big surprise, but you need to make more mistakes. Yes, I'm going to say it again. You need to make more mistakes. What? More mistakes? But don't we want to speak English fluently, perfectly? Yes, but in order to achieve fluency, in order to become perfect, we have to, we must make mistakes. You don't just wake up skilled. You don't just wake up perfect. You don't wake up a fluent speaker of another language. You don't, you don't, you are not born a fluent speaker of your first language. You have to make mistakes. Children make mistakes in their first language every day, all the time. And it's so cute. Why as adults, don't we think it's cute when we make mistakes? It can be cute. It can be a good thing because that shows that we're learning. So I want you to make mistakes every day. If you agree that mistakes can be a good thing if you learn from them, then send me a heart, send me a thumbs up. Just click on the like icon for a thumbs up or the heart icon to show me that you agree that it's okay. It's no, it's not okay. It's good to make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes and it's good to make mistakes because you can learn from your mistakes. I see a very good question. Don't we need someone who corrects our mistakes? Yes, of course, that's very helpful. But you know, I bet that you have caught your own mistakes. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you know when you make a mistake. How do you know? Well, sometimes you catch yourself. Isn't it funny how sometimes we say a word and then we realize, oh, that was a mistake. I used the wrong verb tense or I used the wrong word or, oh, I don't think I pronounced that word correctly. Sometimes you're smart and you catch yourself. You are so smart. Sometimes we do need help to correct our mistakes because we don't realize. And in that case, I recommend that you work with a teacher, a tutor, or someone who is a little bit more fluent than you in English to help you correct your mistakes. But in all honesty, you can catch a lot of your own mistakes. So don't wait. Don't wait until you can work with a teacher. You can make mistakes on your own and you can catch your mistakes on your own. Sometimes your conversation partners will show you that you're making a mistake, not by saying you made a mistake because that's very rare that your friends, your English speaking friends would say you made a mistake. That's kind of rude, right? But you can see it in their face. If you say something and your friends look like this, maybe <laughs> you made a mistake. So you have to be observant and look at people's faces and you can find out if you made a mistake. And maybe you can ask your friends too. Maybe you can ask, did I say something incorrectly? Actually, I did this 
in Portuguese. I was recently, a few weeks ago, in Portugal. I was traveling. I spent one week in Portugal and I was using my Portuguese because if you have been following me for a long time, you know that I love learning languages and I've learned Portuguese. So I was speaking to a, a man in Portuguese and he responded to me in English and I thought, oh no, I must have made a mistake because if he's responding in English, I probably didn't speak very well in Portuguese. So I asked him in Portuguese, I asked, did I make a mistake in Portuguese? Is my Portuguese okay? And he said, oh, no, you didn't make a mistake in Portuguese. He said, you spoke perfectly, but I'm so used to speaking English with foreigners that I changed to English. So, ask more questions too. This is a third thing that you should do more of. So, a bonus today. I said I would share two things you need to do more of, but I'm going to share a third one, which is ask more questions. So, let me review. One, practice and have patience with yourself when you practice. Two, make more mistakes. Three, ask more questions. More patience and practice, more mistakes, more questions. One more time, more patience when you practice, more mistakes, and more questions. These are three things that you are not doing enough of. Can you do more of those? Is it easy? Can you? I think you can do this right now. I think it's easy and I think it's free. Not only is it easy to be patient, but it's free. Not only is it easy to make mistakes, but it's free. Not only is it easy to ask more questions, but it's free, okay? So these are three easy and free things that you can do right now to improve your English fluency. Now, today, I need to tell you something very important. Your question about how to become fluent in English is very important to me. That's why I'm here. And I thought about it for a long time and I wanted to create something for you, some learning materials, some lessons to really help you to practice. So I also know that, you know, I'm a good teacher, but there are other great teachers and it's good to learn from many different teachers. So, I asked my English teacher friends to help me to make something really special to help you to learn English. And we created the English Power Pack. The English Power Pack is one week, so it's seven days. It's for sale for seven days, let me say. Only for sale for seven days. There are seven teachers and seven different courses. If you buy each of these courses separately, you, you can buy the courses separately, but they cost over $500. If you buy them during our seven day sale, they all cost, you get all of them for 80% off for $97. That's an amazing value. So what is the English Power Pack? It's seven full courses, seven different teachers teaching you. Um, it's not private lessons, but it is downloadable lessons. And this is your last chance to get it. It's an amazing value. These teachers have worked so hard and this is their best work in these courses. They've put their best lessons into the English Power Pack for you to enjoy, for you to learn from, for you to practice and improve your fluency. So the English Power Pack is ending. This is your last chance to get it. It will not be repeated. If we do another English Power Pack, it will be different. It will be different. This English Power Pack will never be repeated. And this is the last chance to get it on Sunday, December 4th at midnight. It closes, it ends, goodbye, it's over forever. 
So I'm just telling you this because I care about you and I want you to know. I'm not going to talk about the English Power Pack again. I just want you to know you should go to English uh, to gonaturalenglish.com slash EPP. The link is in the description. You should go there now because it is the last chance for you to get the English Power Pack. And in the new year, you know, we're coming to the end of 2016. In the new year, I will have some new interesting lessons for you, but they're going to be new, they're going to be more expensive. So I want you to know that this is the last chance to get the best value ever for the English Power Pack. And you know, I don't mean to advertise. What I mean to do is to help you because I honestly know that this is the best value for you. So if you care about your English fluency, I strongly suggest that you get the English Power Pack. And I want to answer a few questions that I've gotten from many of you. Many of you have asked really good questions about the English Power Pack, so I'm going to quickly answer them. How much is the English Power Pack? It is $97, which is 80% off the regular price. So it's a really good deal at 80% off. Um, how do I pay for the English Power Pack? Go to gonaturalenglish.com slash EPP and you can pay with a credit card or debit card or PayPal. Um, is it downloadable? Yes, uh, five of the courses in the English Power Pack are downloadable. Two of them are membership sites, so you get the login information to use everything on the membership sites that is included in the English Power Pack. So read on the English Power Pack website about what is included, what is downloadable, and what is a membership site. Um, is uh, the, the English Power Pack only seven days? Yes, the sale ends on Sunday, but you keep the courses forever. So you can study these courses for a month, six months, for a year, for as long as you want. They are yours, but this English Power Pack is only on sale until Sunday. Um, is it the same as before? We've done the first English Power Pack uh, a year ago, the second English Power Pack in June, and now the third English Power Pack in December. And each one is totally different, completely different. So no, it is not the same. We have different teachers, different courses, and it will never be the same. And finally, the last question, can I get it later? Can I buy it next year? Well, no, you can't because the sale ends on Sunday. You can buy each of the courses individually from each of the different teachers' websites, but it's going to cost you $500. So I don't want you to spend all that money when you can get it now for $97. So if you have other questions, you can ask me in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. I wanna encourage you above all else, whether you get the English Power Pack or not, that's fine. I still love you. I want to encourage you to do those three things that I told you about that you're not doing enough. Have patience when you practice, make more mistakes, and ask more questions. Do these things and you're going to improve your fluency very quickly. All right, that is all for now. I want to say have a wonderful weekend from New York City. I'm Gabby, your teacher here at Go Natural English. Yes, I know it's backwards, but that's because I'm using my selfie camera. And I will see you next week. I'm going to take the weekend and really work hard on getting you the English Power Pack. And I'll see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend yourself. And don't forget to check out, to learn more about, to get the English Power Pack. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.